Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we have to solve this question which states that we have to find a non-cyclic subgroup of order 4 in U40. So first of all, you should know what is this group U40. This is a group which consists of all the integers less than 40 such that they are relatively prime to 40. So they are uh, these 16 elements here, correct? And here the group operation is multiplication modulo 40. Right now, uh, if you were asked to find a cyclic subgroup, then you have to search for the elements whose order is four. So, uh, so such that they generate a subgroup for you, which is cyclic in nature. However, now we require a non-cyclic subgroup. For non-cyclic subgroup, we have to look for those elements. Certainly, one would be present in your subgroup. Let's call the subgroup as capital H. So, definitely your subgroup contains the one element as uh, identity right identity would surely be there then only it would be subgroup so we have to uh, find these three elements such that uh, their inverses are also present here such that when we multiply them to themselves they are also present within this same group so this is what is required here correct so uh, let's have a look here at this problem we first of all start here with the uh, second element here because when you multiply identity to itself you you are just going to get the identity element so no need to uh, look for this element so let's directly move on to our second element 3 let's consider the powers of 3 so 3 power 1 is 3 that you know 3 power 2 is 9 that is also present in u40 3 power 3 is 27 that is also present here correct 3 power 4 is 81 when you calculate 81 mod 40 you get 1 so uh, when you take 3 raised to power 5 you get 2 4 3 which is uh, when calculated under mod 40 give you 30 so you see you uh, you start getting the elements which are repeating themselves hence we stop at this point and we say that the order of uh, the element 3 is 4 why because we obtain 1 here when you compute it under mod 40 correct so but uh, we do not want cyclic subgroup so we do not require this element so we leave this element and move on to our next element which is 7 let's consider the element 7 and look at the powers of 7 so when you consider the element 7 you get the power of 7 uh, uh, power of 7 as 1 give you 7 power of 7 as 2 give you 49 which under mod 40 gives you 9 right 7 power 3 give you 23 7 power 4 give you 1 so you see the order of 7 becomes 4 and the elements are repeating themselves so we do not require elements of order 4 so we leave this element as well and we move on to our next element which is 9 so let's have a look at the powers of 9 so here 9 power ni 1 is 9 9 power 2 is 81 which is 1 under mod 40 9 power 3 is 7 to 9 which is 9 under mod 40 9 power 4 is uh, 6 5 6 1 which is 1 so you see we are uh, getting the numbers which are repeating themselves hence here you obtain the order of 9 as equal to 2 why because you get identity here correct so therefore the order of 9 is 2 so that means we can consider this element because when you take the powers of 9 you only get two elements 1 9 1 9 1 is already present in edge now if you put this 9 also in edge uh, you have to see a thing that what is the inverse of 9 is it also present in edge if not we'll be forcing that inverse to be uh, there in edge correct so here uh, we have to see what is 9 inverse so that means we have to look for some element x such that when you multiply with it with 9 so uh, so whatever is the answer that when you take its mod 40 you get the remainder the remainder should be equal to 1 correct so basically 9 into x whatever is this x when divided by 40 should give you the remainder as equal to 1 correct this is the um, expression that we have to solve so here you see when you multiply 9 with 9 so you get 81 which is 1 under mod 40 hence 9 inverse is just 9 so no need to do anything so in this edge we obtain two elements 1 and 9 let's move ahead and in a similar manner look for other elements as well so here the next element is 11 when you take 11 power 1 that is 11 11 power 2 is 1 to 1 which gives you 1 mod 40 so here the order of 11 is 2 so we take this element and we uh, in a similar manner investigate its inverse now because the order is 2 so definitely 11 into 11 give you 1 correct 
so what does it mean it mean that 11 inverse is just 11 so we take this element as well so now in our edge we have one the element 9 and the ele element 11 within it let's look for the last element let's uh, move with the uh, next element which is 13 so the order of 13 is 4 by the similar calculation you can make use of calculator to calculate the powers and then you can again make use of calculator to calculate the mod 40 correct next so we do not take this 13 next we move on to 17 we also do not take 17 because the order comes out to be 4 then we take 19 yes the 19 has order 2 so that means 19 inverse is just 19 correct so when you multiply 19 with 19 you get 1 under mod 40 so uh, hence we take 19 into h therefore we obtain uh, a subgroup containing four elements one among which is identity which is non-cyclic in nature why because you cannot generate uh, whole whole of the elements by taking just one element from it uh, in u40 and this is what was required in our question so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching